Hello, everybody. My name is Ram Garagoslu. I'm the founder and CEO of Dapper Labs, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about our new blockchain, Flow, as well as the applications we're launching on top, like NBA Top Shot. Flow is a blockchain we developed from the ground up uh, based on our experience building on Bitcoin and Ethereum. It's a layer one blockchain, so it's not a fork of Ethereum. It's not an ERC-20 token. Uh, it is built from the ground up to be a platform for blockchain applications. And it's important to remember our team before CryptoKitties has built a series of successful developer platforms in the non-blockchain world, serving hundreds of millions of users and millions of developers. So why did we get into blockchain? Well, it's probably the same reason a lot of you did, because blockchain is truly a computing revolution and lets developers build a new kind of software, kinds of applications that couldn't exist before. And in a sense, revolutions like this really come about every one or two decades. Um, when you go from local, locally hosted software to cloud hosted software to mobile phones that have software in everybody's pockets. And now for the first time blockchain, software that is owned by no one and controlled by no one and lives out there in the open. But what makes Dapper Labs different uh, what makes our approach different than every other team building in blockchain is we truly believe fun and games will lead the way for adoption. Because the truth is, fun and games have led the way for adoption of every other uh, revolution in computing as well. So that's why we created CryptoKitties. You know, CryptoKitties has been very successful for us, about $4 million economy of digital cats, uh, $40 million spent by users uh, buying and selling CryptoKitties. Uh, and by a lot of metrics, the number one blockchain game, blockchain experience that's not a financial product. Um, we're proud to see that. But CryptoKitties highlighted certain problems that Flow solves and certain problems that I think we all need to solve in order to get mainstream adoption. And those are problems with user experience, problems with scalability, and problems with cost. Fundamentally, the scale of these problems is why we created Dapper Labs and brought together a network of investors, partners, uh, and, and a community of individuals, developers that are helping us build this future. Flow is the thing we've come up with, uh, the platform we've built over the last two years. And in a lot of ways, to understand why we had to build Flow, it's helpful to look at uh, what else is there and the approach that others have taken. There's two things that make Flow different from every other blockchain uh, that you've seen and every other layer one network that's trying to come to market. And those two things are first, we have a deep empathy for application developers because we ourselves are application developers uh, on blockchains. And we are using our own blockchain to develop new kinds of applications, not just games uh, for our users. And that leads us to build a better platform for developers like yourself. The protocol, we deeply believe, has to make life easier for the people building on top. And most specifically, the thing that makes Flow very different is when this applies to scalability. So blockchains are not easy to scale. And most networks out there from Ethereum with Ethereum 2.0 uh, to Cosmos, Polkadot, and others are taking the path of breaking the network up into much, uh, many smaller networks. So the path of sharding or side chains or parachains, essentially breaking one network up into many different networks that can communicate with each other asynchronously. The other approach is, of course, the approach of Libra, US, and others of permanently compromising on decentralization. Well, we believe the permanent compromise and decentralization basically defeats the point of blockchain and makes an application platform that developers won't want to use. And so we focus on this, the, the, second, the first category, the category of blockchains building things with sharding. And we deeply believe that this is going to make the life of application developers much more difficult. If you're building on a platform and you have to maintain uh, your own sidechain or your own parachain, that's additional work that you wouldn't otherwise have to do. If you have to train your users to jump through the hoops of using a layer two platform, getting XDAI, for example, that's something that we felt true consumer mainstream applications can't ask their users to do. And if you have to deal with the asynchrony of sharding and the, the dampener that puts on composability, the difficulties that creates with smart contracts communicating cross shard, a problem that nobody's been able to solve, we didn't feel that was a good idea. We made analyses that showed that a transaction, uh, a user action that can happen in one transaction on a non-sharded blockchain balloons to over, over 12 transactions on a sharded blockchain. And, that, and that's where the flow architecture can, comes from. So flow for the first time lets the 
nodes essentially specialize according to their individual capacities uh, and their individual uh, ability to, to process transactions. So you have certain nodes in the network that are very, very powerful and they function as execution nodes. They do most of the heavy lifting. Whereas you have other nodes that are less powerful, but more numerous. And these nodes do the verification. They participate in consensus. They actually help keep the network secure and decentralized, but they don't do the heavy lifting, but they double check the work of the network blockchains, that, uh, the computers that do. This simple change in architecture is incredibly powerful because it allows flow to achieve massive improvements in scalability and performance without compromising on decentralization. So flow can be as decentralized as networks like Ethereum, even more so, without resorting to sharding, without breaking up the network. Many other changes in flow make it a very easy to use blockchain, especially for application developers. And this is what some of them are saying. I'll let you read this on your own time, but the message is very simple. Flow is easy to use. Flow lets us build faster. Flow lets us focus on the parts that matter. The second big thing that's very different with Flow compared to other layer one blockchains is that we're building our own applications. This is always our instinct, but the more we spoke to other developers, the more we realized that part of the work of launching a blockchain is making sure that there's enough users and usability there on day one, that there's actually an audience for developers when they build applications, people are ready to use those applications and they're able to because the tools exist, the ecosystem exists. Obviously, you guys know we were, were working with some of the best partners in the world, the NBA, the UFC, Warner Music Group, Dr. Seuss, the NFLPA, to build new kinds of applications, but that's not where we're stopping. We're also working with third-party partners, publicly traded game studios like Sumo Digital and Ubisoft and Animoca. And they're bringing their brands, we're working with institutions like BitCub, Warner Media, and they're bringing their resources to build on Flow. And of course, we have a long tail of thousands of developers that are learning to use the tools on top of Flow, universities that are teaching their students about Flow, the opportunities and building for blockchains, uh, and spreading the word in terms of the kinds of applications that can be built on top. NBA Top Shot is an open beta as of a month ago, and it's doing extremely, extremely well. Over $5 million has been transacted on the marketplace, about 50,000 users between uh, downloads on our Samsung Galaxy Store app, as well as signups on our website. And so it's in a month, it's become the biggest sports blockchain experience that exists today. And the coolest thing is people are engaging with it without even needing to start with cryptocurrency. They're coming in, buying packs with credit cards, enjoying the experience. They're trading with each other on the secondary marketplace. And we've started testing also for our mobile game, which is where users use their collections in the first AAA mobile game to include blockchain assets. Lots of new projects coming from us as well, but you might have seen we've announced other companies are bringing their top tier flagship IPs to flow. So Animoca is bringing Stargirl, which is a amazing, uh, amazing existing games, non-blockchain, but they're adding blockchain into it, million active users, and they're also bringing their MotoGP IP, BitCub is working with the top YouTube influencers in Thailand and issuing a new kind of social currency that's going to get people really excited uh, in, a, in a very easy to engage way. And of course, developers that are coming to our website, going to our GitHub and using our tools, just getting more and more. So more than 6,000 smart contracts have been deployed, uh, nearly 3,000 at this point, over 3,000 projects have been uh, created on the Flow Playground. And you can do the same. You can join these folks from companies like OpenSea to others, uh, and you can start becoming part of the network and uh, building on top of the platform. So these are the tools. These are the next re the resources or next steps I would recommend uh, you go on from the playground where you, you can try writing on top of the Flow Network yourself, try to learn in Cadence um, to obviously the developer documentation, which is a great way for you to get started. Uh, Twitter is how you can stay on top of all of the latest news. Uh, and of course, join us on Discord um, if you want to interact with the rest of the community and be part of uh, what everyone else is what everyone else is talking about and building. So thank you again for listening to my presentation. Um, as always, please come find us on Twitter or otherwise uh, we can answer the rest of your questions. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.